Welcome to our MLHC 2021 Clinical Abstract on Early Warning System Model Collinearity as a Source of Alert Fatigue in Hospitalized Patients. My name is Karandeep Singh. Early warning systems are becoming more and more common. Recent adoption is driven by the availability of models and the ease of integration. What early warning system models are common at hospitals? Well, we've previously looked at deterioration models and sepsis models, but many other models exist for things like acute kidney injury, falls, as well as many other outcomes. Most published evaluations have focused on individual models, but what happens when multiple models are running simultaneously? When people get really sick in the hospital, multiple organ systems are often affected. So it's not surprising that a sepsis alert could turn into a deterioration alert and then an acute kidney injury alert. So unsurprisingly, early warning systems are likely collinear to an extent, but what does that mean in terms of model overlap and alert fatigue? We looked at the additive impact of a deterioration model on sepsis. We currently generate alerts using the EPIC sepsis model, but not using the EPIC deterioration index for which we have a different workflow. We wanted to know what, were to hap what would happen if we were to introduce deterioration alerts. Would the deterioration model fire in patients with sepsis? Would it fire before or after the sepsis model? And will it capture new patients that the sepsis model missed? We looked at hospital-acquired sepsis, which is sepsis that occurs after admission to the hospital. We looked at approximately 40,000 hospitalizations between 2018 and 2019, and we found that hospital-acquired sepsis occurred in about 2.2% of these hospitalizations. Interestingly, the hospitalization level area under the curve for both models was actually quite similar. And when you find a corresponding threshold uh, on the deterioration index, you can find a threshold that has a very similar sensitivity, specificity, positive and negative predictive value to the sepsis model. However, when you look at the lead time to sepsis, the sepsis model fires many hours sooner than the deterioration index in terms of identifying these patients with sepsis. Interestingly, of the 515 patients identified by either model, only 135 were identified by both, showing that while there is some degree of overlap, the models actually do identify different patients at different times. I wanna give a thank you to my co-authors and I hope this spurs further discussion. Feel free to email me or contact me on Twitter. Thank you so much.